how are you all i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem happy students from the weekly contest 363 so if you read the problem statement it's bit complicated i can say uh, if you are a beginner or if you are new into this lead code contest then you can feel little bit of uh, tricky like by reading this question so but i will explain i will break down this a uh, question into very simpler way so that you can understand it very easily so first let's understand the problem statement let's understand the problem statement here you are given a zero indexed integer array numbers of length n where n is the total number of students in the class n is the total n is the total number of students and the class teacher tries to select a group of students so that all students remain happy class teacher is saying that i will select a group I will select a group. I will select some group so that all students should be happy. Suppose if you are, if these are all my students, I will select this group. And if you select this group, this group, and excluding, excluding group, all should be happy. He is saying that. And to become happy, uh, we need to meet one of these two conditions. one of these two conditions and if you see the student is selected and the total number of selected students is strictly greater than num sub i if i am selecting some student if i am selecting some student suppose if you see this uh, if i am selecting 1 2 3 6 so if you are 0 0 3 3 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
uh, if you see this example we are not selecting if we are not selecting anything uh, total number of students are zero total number of students are zero and every element this condition is satisfied right the total number of selected students are zero and uh, this condition is failed but this condition is satisfied that is this the student is not selected and the total number of selected students is less than if you see this one one i am not selecting anyone my total number of students are zero zero less than one only the one condition is satisfied if one of this condition is satisfied then we can say that will be my answer this condition is satisfied so that's why if c is less than v of zero uh, we are sorting and we are saying if if my element is starting with one if my element is starting with one if i don't select anything my uh, c is zero c is less than one definitely it is less than one so i am incrementing the answer then i am iterating then i am iterating and i am incrementing the c number of selected students and and first first when we we need to check if it is n minus 1 if it is we have reached till the end if it is reached till the end we don't have the next element we don't have next element to check if c is greater than v of i c is greater than v of, these all are sorted and number of elements are greater than this last element then we can say okay then i can increase my answer suppose uh, we have elements like this and like this we are breaking here and our my c is here my c is here this c should be greater than v of i definitely it should be greater than v of i and this c should be less than v of i plus 1 this c should be less than v of i plus 1 then we are going to increment the answer and then we are returning the answer if you see what will be the time complexity for sorting it will be n into log of i we are checking this because these are all elements towards the right or satisfied towards right or satisfied because if you check with this then definitely these all are greater if you check with this all are greater so there is no uh, no point of checking of for uh, remaining elements so i hope you understood this if you understood this solution please do like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching